Hey hey everybody, my name is Sleepy Cat and today we're going to be continuing our game of Broken Age. So... If you remember last time, um, we are still playing as Shay. Um, we gave our new uh, radiation, so let's go ahead and see what else... Uh, radiation cost, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and see what else. Uh, have you noticed that your ship's sort of... Oh, okay, oh. see you later. Okay. That's not what I'm trying to. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So let's Have go ahead and see. Have you your ship's sort of shaking now? That's the heavy-duty anti-gravity thruster you found, warming up. Hmm. After everything else is ready, that thing's gonna blast us out of here. Nice. Oh man. Okay. So what else do we need to fly? So what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm. Let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet, and once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Okay. See you later. Okay. Okay. So we still have quite a lot to do. Um. Alex drew this schematic for a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. Now, if I just knew what to do with it. Okay. Um. Uh, we got some eggshells. That baby bird shell was so thick. It never would have busted out without me. We got our electronics genius. We got Mr. Huggy. He's alive, but totally exhausted. Poor guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else we need for now. Uh, let's see what we need for our dad's hull patch. Dad? Son. How's the hull patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient until I know I have the pH balanced correctly. Okay. How would you change the How pH? How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. Okay. How'd you get the calcium How'd you get carbonate? The calcium carbonate by grinding up every seashell on the beach, but I fear it's still not enough. Hmm. Where can I get some more? Where can I get more calcium carbonate? That's a great question. If I could find just one more shell, that would help. Good luck, Dad. Okay. So how mm -hmm. much is it right now, Mr. Spoony? Sir, I hope you don't intend to eat that putrid smelling concoction. Nope. Woo! Just dipping your toes in it. <laughs> Sir, I... Oh, my. Not to question the mission, sir, but was there some reason you stuck me into that toxic potion? How's the pH balance in there? The mixture has a pH balance of 10. Exactly. Okay, 10. And he needs us to lower. Yeah, some. Uh. Dad, did you know we weren't in space the whole time? No, but I had my suspicions. Why? In my nightly maintenance patrols of the ship's exterior, I found many anomalies I couldn't explain. Like what? Was Operation Dandelion for real? Obviously, Operation Dandelion was not what they told us it was. But why hide it from us? Mm -hmm. What were they up to? Did you and Mom know about Merrick? Who? The guy in the wolf suit, who lived in the vents of the ship. If there were someone on the ship without our knowledge, that could only be the work of the Thrushmaster, hmm. the head of Operation Dandelion. But why send an operative and not tell us? Mm -hmm. Sorry I treated you and Mom like machines. Oh, you didn't all the time, son. Until you turned 13, we didn't annoy you at all. <laughs> Plus, you can make up for it by helping us get your mother off that ship. Okay. I wish I could do more to help Alex fix his ship. Well, what's still left to do? You're good with electronics, right? Well, the ship used to fix its own wiring using robots. Mm. So I never needed to learn how, unfortunately. Dang. 
Um, Can you build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? Sure. Just ask the ship's replicators to. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, maybe someone here knows how. Do you have any wire? All my tools are still on the ship. Don't worry, Dad. I've got this under control. That's my boy. How's the hull patch coming? Great. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on, just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be... Okay, so how would you lower the how pH? How would you lower the pH? I would try to find something mildly acidic. Oh, what I wouldn't do for some splarg right now. So, cereal is acidic? No. It just helps me think. <laughs> Good luck, Dad. Okay, mm -hmm. so... We need something acidic. Uh... Hey, Carol. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch. But I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. We got a hook. You want my crochet hook? Need a hook? Sure do. Oh, uh, look, kid. That's a nice hook, but I'm not fishing for minnows, you know. What? This is a great hook. I'll... I'll prove it to you. <laughs> sure, kid. Okay. Greetings, Your Excellency. Or clown. Can my hook help? What if that whistling sound is actually something caught in his throat? Maybe I could fish it out with this. Sir, you are more likely to force the object further down his throat if you attempt that. I recommend a sudden constricting pressure to the abdomen instead. Hmm. Trust me, choking prevention is my business. Okay. Constricting. Stir huggy? Oh, the snake doesn't like that. <gasps> hey! Oh, hey, you had something caught in your throat. Oh. Hey, knock that off, Mr. Huggy. Back to your tree. Mug! <laughs> Mug Chatra! Struck down by the dead eye guard. Oh, rise again. This maiden's feast was a disaster. I'm never going to be mayor now. What you drinking there? Excuse me? Huh? Are you feeling better feeling now? Better? A little. But I won't know for sure until the polls come in tomorrow. Where did Mark Chatter go? go? I assume back home, beyond the gates of the plague dam. Can you tell me where we are? Why, the village of Shell Mound, of course. The eighth largest incorporated seaside territory on the whole East Coast. Who are you? Marshal Duke. Who are you? I'm Shay. From Laruna. Laruna? You're from the ancient lost city far beyond the plague dam? Oh, so he huh. knows. Well, that's not exactly how it was described to me. Okay. Do you know anything about electronics? What's electronics? Some new data analysis service for elections? <laughs> Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything. As long as it's made out of sand. Okay. Uh... I don't think sand is going to stick together enough. Once upon a time, I would agree with you. But I recently met a mysterious young woman who gave me a secret ingredient. I don't think sand is superconductive. If it can't be made with sand, it's not worth making at all. <laughs> do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscope? Oh, do you mean sand? Synthetic autonomous nanodrones? Because that would be great if you had some of those. Mm -hmm. No, I mean sand. As in, the chief export of this fine community. Oh. I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. But can you make something this complicated? Oh. Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? 
and that's why they call me Marshal Duke. Oh, and that is so cool. Oh, so thank you, son, for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look like a politician, but underneath it all, I'm just a guy who loves sand. <laughs> mm, that's good. I'm going to pass that along to my speechwriter. Okay. Well, now we got that. Oh! We can't Fish. reach it. Hey, everybody! This round. Tree. Human. That fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. Hmm. Oh, come on. You don't need that fish. I happen to think it brings an interesting asymmetry to my look. So back off. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe if we make hey, him laugh. Wanna hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? Okay. No. Uh, what's the smallest floor? Uh, maybe this one? Why did the president of the chipmunks get impeached? Ooh, I bet he did something cheeky. Am I right? Hey, this is my joke. <laughs> okay, okay. What did he do? I heard he had one too many nuts. Hey, keep it clean. <laughs> there are siblings around here. I, I didn't mean... Sorry. Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Uh... Did you hear about the First National Tree Bank? No. What? I have all my money in the First National Tree Bank. It closed down. Oh no. My whole life savings. Don't worry. It just started a new branch. <laughs> oh, <you're> <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> you get a line and I'll get a pole. We'll go down to the crawdad hole. Yikes, how's that thing talking? Oh, that's creepy. Here, I'll take it from you. Okay, just stay quiet, you. Honey, sugar pa, baby mine. Shh. Okay. Uh maybe we could trick um. Carol, now that we got a fish, here, you, you, you want a fish? Come on, mouse, stop acting up. Okay, here, Carol, oh, Carol, want a fish? What's that? You get a lo lot of fish when you use the right equipment. You caught that fish on this beach? What's your secret? Hmm. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Let me think about it. Uh. Here you go. Okay, you've worn me down. I've decided to tell you about my fishing secret weapon. Your what? This. The hook that I caught that amazing fish with. I call it the fish reaper. Or freeper. You don't say. Hey, uh, do you suppose I could borrow your reaper for a little while? But please promise to leave some fish in the ocean for future generations. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Guess I don't need this anymore. Come to Carol, my beauties. <laughs> okay. So we got wire now. Uh, so... Hmm. Looks like this little guy lost all his low-level wiring. Okay. This one looks good. And that's all the wire I have. Is that it? 
No. I don't know if my wiring helped. Ugh, okay. I'll, t I'll see you later. There's some sort of flyer in here. Hey, this is that girl that tried to punch me. Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? <laughs> Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, for starters. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh... Uh, do you know about this girl? I found this in your mailbox. Bella's family must have left that when they came marching through here. Hmm. I wonder what they're still doing upstairs. <laughs> uh. Hey, Curtis, do you think you could make a metal version of this? Huh. Well, that's a cool-looking one of those. But it's not a mold. I only work for mold size. How do I make it into a mold? Wait, Marshall Dune said that because of Vela, he was able to get this thing, the cat, the standings. Uh, let's see. I've detected an unusual rock formation on the surface. That's not rock. It's the hardened shell of my sick, summoned from my gut by a banshee in a shredded gown. You don't say. Never seen one of those before. Okay. Have you seen her? Hey, do you know this girl? Oh God, that face! The memories! You're every bit as cruel as her, aren't you? Hmm. I'm just gonna put this here, okay? Hey, the forest isn't your dumping ground, human. Yeah, human. So just the sight of this girl's face. Schoolgirl! Fascinating. Hey. Just leave me be. The sap hardened into a perfect, albeit gross looking, mold for a hypercam. Okay. So now that it's rock hard. Can I give it hey, to you Curtis, now? Do you think you could use this as a mold? Hmm. Hey, this is a nice mold. What is this, a candle holder? <laughs> it's a super... Look, it's candle holders sell like crazy. I can totally use this as a mold if it's a candle holder. It's a super candle holder. <laughs> Let's try it out. Hit the road, kitty. Please don't be a cat. Please don't be a cat. <gasps> That's perfect. You think it conducts electricity really well? Well, not that it matters for a candle holder, but based on the metals I'm using, yes. Thanks. Yeah, you take the first one. Fair trade for this awesome mold that is going to make me so rich. Oh, look at the cat. Uh, I only care about because it gives me the freedom to be truer to myself as an artist. <laughs> Pleasure doing business. I mean, art with you. Awesome! So now we have one. Carrying this candle holder around. All right. This is the hypercam I was supposed to be delivering to Alex. Okay. Uh. We need something acidic. So.
So, if he reacts to Vela from seeing the... What if... What, what do they say when we... Hey, Gusev. Well... Oh, you mean that pack rat on that pile of junk back there? Um, pack rat? Yeah, it turns out he was hiding this amazing mountain of trash under the fake cloud cover. Darn it! I knew it! <laughs> you did? Well, I mean, there were signs, and one day it hit me. An epiphany? No. No, a license plate fell on my head when I was walking under his cloud, but I just didn't want to admit it to my family after making them all move up here. I am the worst father in the world. Dang. Did you willingly give up your own daughter as a sacrifice to save a town that didn't deserve her? No. Then you're doing all right, Walt. Oh. Well, see you guys later. Okay, so here. Do you know this girl? Oh, I see you got one of our flies. Oh. We're spreading them all around, hoping to find out where she went after she landed here. I told you everything I know. Hmm. Okay, one second. Okay, so what does Vela's other family say? Hey. Hey, hey. You want to buy a cupcake? Hey, hey. Maybe I should. It's a fundraiser for a good cause. Tell him, Rocky. They've got red frosting. Why am I carrying this candle holder around? Oh, right. This is the hyper candle. Is this one of your materials? Great, you've got one. May I ask if you heard about us at work, home, from a friend, or other? Uh, other. Alrighty, and thanks for taking our survey. Do I get some free gift cards yes. or something? This girl. That's my granddaughter. Only one in this family that's got any sense. Poor guts. Mm -hmm. I like the way she smells. <laughs> Do you know this girl? Oh. Okay. What about her mom? Uh. <laughs> Look at Harmony. What are you doing down here? They all turned on me. After all I've done for them. Take their stuff? Have you seen this girl? I think that was the girl who broke my ladder. Don't know how I know, just something not light about her. Hmm. Hey, do you guys know this girl? Oh, that's my beautiful daughter. We put those flyers out hoping to find her. Aww. She looks just like you. You remind me of her. I hope I can introduce you to her someday. Yeah, I know you will. Oh yeah, so I have to go ahead and get that, um... Oh. Mama left. She just, she's just gone. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some peaches. Good night. Huh. Okay, so I. Hey. Why can't I? Uh. Oh. Okay, can I take a peach from you? You got a bunch of them. Mind if I take one of these? Please, spread the word. We might just save some lives here, man. <laughs> okay, well, at least we got some peaches now.
Oh wait, we didn't talk to Gus about the... The flyer. Hey, you know Vela? Do you know this girl? Oh yeah, she tried to kill me! Wow, really? Yeah, basically. <laughs> hey! Okay. She didn't try to kill you. You were trying to grab onto her. There's a piece missing from this window. Oh, yeah. I lost the sun somehow. Yeah. Me too. Aww. That's so sad. Have you seen this girl? Have you seen this girl? Hey, that's the girl who found a way off of Merloff for all of us. Really brave kid. I hope I get to thank her someday. Oh, okay. Have you seen this girl? Hey, have you seen this girl? Why, that's the girl that helped me build the Maiden's Arena. Great smell on that one. <laughs> Dad, when I fell out of the ship, this girl was standing there. And she looked really mad. Well, really. yeah. And then she tried to hit me. But she fell into the ship instead, just before the door closed. Now this violent stranger is loose on our ship with your mother? Uh, yeah. I see. Well, thanks for warning me. Oh, I didn't try to. Okay. Uh, so we needed more acidic. Hang on there, son. Do you know how acidic that fruit is? No, but my spoon will tell me. Yeah. I will. With pleasure, sir. Mm, worth a shot. Mm-hmm. So how much, how acidic is it now? pH? The mixture has a pH balance of eight. Exactly. Okay, so it went down. To seven. Exactly. So it goes down by two. Right? Let's see. What's the acidity of that compound spoon? The mixture has a pH balance of six. Exactly. We need to get it to seven. Exactly. What do you think of this fruit, Spoon? Oh, sir, I wouldn't eat it. I mean, how can you trust food that doesn't come from a replicator? <laughs> Besides, I'm sensing a strong acid content. Yeah. What about... I don't think I can tune a spoon. I'm always ready to play in the key of E, A, and T. <laughs> what can you tell me about these eggshells, Spoon? Well, I wouldn't recommend eating them, sir. They are comprised primarily of calcium, <gasps> which has little or no nutritive value. Oh. What are those eggshells? Shells is shells, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, calcium carbonate is the main ingredient in all kinds of shells. Exactly. So you were listening to my night lectures on science. Uh-huh. Look, it's smoking now. pH? The mixture has a pH balance of nine. Exactly. Try the other direction, son. Okay. And now two? Any luck? I'm detecting a pH level of 
Seven. Yay! Balanced, sir. <laughs> nice work, son. Now for the final ingredient. Just a small bonding and reduction agent. It's perfection. So small. A so little goes a long way. Come on, let's go fix that ship. I love science. Mmm, amazing. Just like my dad used to make. Let me at that hull and I'll start patching her up. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Hey, can I go down there? Uh, aren't you busy helping me find stuff for my ship? Oh, yeah. What's left? Still need an electronics genius and, uh, haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercube. I got yet. that. And once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Here you go. Here you go. One superconductive gyroscopic hypercam as requested. Hey, that looks even better than my old one. This faux sandy texture really adds to the conductive surface area. Brilliant. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a really recent advancement in hypercams. Lies. Okay. Can I go through this door my dad used? You don't want to go down there yet. Very unsafe. Many sublevels are structurally unsound. Who knows if the air is breathable? Plus, there are some rogue automatons I've yet to get under control. Why didn't you warn my dad about that stuff? Didn't you see the look in his eyes? I knew there was no stopping him. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is this thing, though? I just noticed sure this. what this strange diamond-shaped socket is for. Think this is some sort of bowl spoon? No, <laughs> sir. I believe that's an old fashioned charging station. Hmm. Huh. It's not exactly the same shape, but maybe if I turn it. Well, heck. Okay. that one back there's four so there, it's like that's what I meant now those like two are this. Connected, connecting to this terminal and that's all the wire I have does it so change nothing not sure what that means It does change. So we just have to find the right combination then. No, well, not there. Here goes nothing. Huh. If only I were on my old ship. Then I could look for the info I need to fix this. Do I have to go to Vela? I think I have to go to Vela. <laughs> Okay then, I guess that's everything guys. Um, first, let's see. Can we... What's this? I don't know how to tune that. It looks so familiar. Hey, is that Prima Doom? I mean, Shell Mound? Huh, okay. I think that's gonna actually be important. Hey, that song that makes your space conductor return to his last port? Could you play it for me? On this? Well, I can try. Oh, that's... catchy. I think if you're a navigation computer, that's actually a pretty hot melody. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, I guess that's going to be everything for today. Next part, we're going to be going on to Vela. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Press a like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.